this day that uh, culminates a uh, long period of time here in Washington across America where we have gathered together to march and to speak and to appeal and to pray for the end of this holocaust of abortion in America. I've enjoyed those experiences that I've been able to share with my pro-life colleagues and as I went to the Mass last night in the Basilica and looked out across that sea of faces, more than 10,000 strong on the ground floor of that magnificent cathedral up on the hill in northwest, northeast Washington, and realizing that there are 10,000 people on the main floor and another 5,000 in the basement, 15 to 16,000, many young people, who have done the pilgrimage from all across America, gotten on a bus and ridden for hours, maybe 18 or 20 or more hours to get here, and they will go to the service, and they came to the march, the March for Life today on the mall, in the cold and in the drizzle, and they got back on the bus, some of them without even getting a chance to get warm and headed back to their homes again. Those are people with conviction.